So, are we on? Um, in this video, we're going to try to show you how to easily create your sheet files from a master design and a master topo. So you should have an alignment file, and we're, that should have an AA naming convention to it. And your topo file should have a BB naming convention to it. Okay, from this, we're going to create a base map, what is known as a base map. And we're uh, going to reference in the BB file into the AA file, which is your alignment. Okay, now this file is uh, referenced in. Um, we have our base map done, and now we want to create a border file. This border file will contain project specific information, such as the project ID number and the location. Make sure that you use the proper seed file when you create this. Okay, so all we have to do is double click on the area with the project ID, fill in the project ID, and the unit number. And then in the location area, we're going to fill in the district county route and other information that goes in that area. Okay, after you have all the uh, project specific information filled in, you can close this border file. And now we want to create what we call a clip frame file. This is the file that's going to uh, define all the sheet boundary areas. And make sure you use the proper seed file for this also, which is uh, pertains to the zone that you're working in. Okay, now what we want to do is, is attach the AA file using Quincent Dent World and copy attachment set. That way it will bring in both the A alignment file and the topo file with it. <coughs> go ahead and fit your view. And go ahead and rotate your view. Uh, uh, using two points in the general area where your first sheet would be defined at. Okay, and um, at this point, just to be neat, uh, we uh, it is a good idea to to rotate the view to an absolute uh, uh, angle using the MDL load get view angle. We can see what angle our absolute view is uh, set to, and we can see it's it's very close to 311 degrees. So there's a, a key in that we can use to set our view angle to 311. Okay, so now that we have the rotation that we want, 
we're going to pl place a cell called clip frame. This cell um, defines the maximum clip area for a one inch equals 50 foot uh, scale plant sheet. All right, that looks good. And uh, we're done defining the first area for a first sheet. Now let's go ahead and define the second area for the second sheet. So we're going to use view rotation again by two points and uh, do a general uh, idea what the rotation should be for that second sheet. We'll do the same thing again. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll do the MDL load, get view angle, TN, and we see that we're close to 332. So we'll rotate absolute by uh, 332 degrees. Now we're ready to place our second clip frame. Okay, and we want to use a comfortable overlap between those two uh, maximum clip areas so we have a, a good place to put our match line. And the match line should be placed in between two major stations at a plus 50 station point. Um, we're going to use a place point along element tool and uh, make sure you set to a, a color and a weight to make it easy to see that point. So we're using an intersection snap to the, where that tick mark is intersecting the, the alignment line. We're using a keen in distance of 50. And there's our point. And now we want to use the construct line at active angle tool. And we want to set this to 90 degrees. Okay. And please make sure that the, you um, are always set into the correct levels when you're doing this, or otherwise you'll have to set it, uh, move that element to correct level later. Okay, now we're ready to draw the final clip shape uh, using, uh, uh, generally uh, using your judgment to where you think that uh, that should fall and using the match line for the end of that clip area. Also, we want to put the north arrows in and the top view, which I should say top rotation. Okay, we do the same thing for the second sheet also. Rotate to normal to the clip area and uh, use your judgment to where you think the uh, clipping should be at and uh, endpoints should follow the match line. So as you're placing this clip shape, you're going to keep in mind that you want enough room for extra notes on the outside of your alignment. Um, at this point, you probably want to label these sheets so they're easily identified later when you're creating your final sheets.
So uh, what I'm doing now is placing the rotation angle of each sheet and also the sheet number. And we're going to make it ver fairly large so it's easily seen when looking at the overview of the whole alignment. This is for reference only. It's not going to be part of the sheet. Okay, and I believe we're done with the clip frame file. We can close that, and now we want to create another uh, design file. Um, this will be our actual sheet file. 